So I'm getting ready to transfer photos, as you might be able to see, when I decided to uh, fulfill a promise that I promised to you guys a long time ago, and yes, the window is open at 1 o'clock in the morning because we have no air conditioning here. At least not right now, we have to get the condenser looked at, but anyway. I'm going to show you how to transfer uh, photos onto a Windows 95 PC. Like I promised, or I'm going to transfer it onto a PC. I could just as easily probably use this and its USB port. But I'm going to go old school and uh, use the NEC in Windows 95. I wanted to use the 6030X that's sitting over there, but unfortunately the software requires Windows 95 or later, or NT4 or later. But there you go. So I have to use this, even though I would love to use that. But that's alright. Better. Oh, and if you're wondering why this is on, I just installed the display driver, which was a hell of a battle. But, I'll document that later on my website. First of all, what you need to do is you need to plug in the serial cable. So, find the serial port on your computer, be it a desktop. If it's a desktop, it'll be easily findable. If it's a laptop, it could be underneath a door, in this case. You want to look for a 9-pin connection, or if you're using USB, it doesn't really matter. I'll show you the USB cable in a second. You want to carefully or not plug in your serial cable, making sure that it's not too tight or too loose. Because if it's too loose, you won't get very good transfers. If it's too tight, you could end up breaking something. But I'm not sure how you could get a serial cable to be too tight. You want to plug... Oh yeah, by the way, this is what the USB cable looks like. You want to find a port that looks like that. I'm sure you all know what a USB port looks like. Even those of you who are here that aren't necessarily computer savvy. The next thing that you want to do is you want to set it down, the camera down somewhere, and plug in this connector right here. This, uh, what is that? That is a six pin, uh, six pin DIN, mini DIN connector. You want to plug that into the uh, camera right here underneath this flap that has the, the uh, arrows on it. So I'll do that and I'll come back because I need two hands to do it. I didn't mention it, but these instructions apply to the Kodak DC240 and DC280. This happens to be a 280. What you want to do is you want to move the slider next to connect, power the camera on. What you should see is you should see the light blink for CF current access, and you should see this little indication. Go over to your computer. I'm gonna close that because I was listening to music while I was doing this. We'll click on that, which hopefully will launch software. Cannot communicate with the camera. That's alright. Let's change this to serial. Com1. Fastest rate possible. Retry. Let's see what we got. reading and there you go see on a PC I'm sure the software is installed but on a PC you actually get to look at the individual folders which is pretty cool so you can see we've got two pictures both of which I'm going to transfer getting a file from the camera see we are now transferring over serial this used to be the way that everything happened. In fact, as you can see, I've gotten quite familiar with Hyperterminal and uh, a 19200 a, uh, baud uh, cable connection. Because this cable is a piece of crap, it doesn't support very much. But this only supports 19200 at the maximum, so that's alright. I have to use that. I was using that to transfer all the files into here. But this is still uh, transferring all of this stuff. 115,200 bits per second. So, uh, yeah, back in the glory days when everything was uh, not much faster than 28.8 kilobits per second. Of course cars start coming along while I'm making a video. I think you could see, yep, they are now on the desktop. Alright, now if you're like me, you could easily just put these onto a, a writable CD. Well, if you're not me, you can put them onto a writable CD, or do whatever you want with them. I'm going to transfer these via hyperterminal over to this machine, 
upload them to the internet so I can access them on that machine. And, uh, well, there you go. But you don't need to see all that. That's pretty, uh, straightforward. You've seen, uh, this video was basically just to show you how to transfer photos onto your PCs, like I promised that I was going to show you. Okay, so maybe this helped somebody, or maybe not. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And uh, this is CP666 signing off. I hope to see you next time. Until then.